All right, guys, we have breaking Seahawks news, and this is news that I think everybody is going to like. I don't think there's any way you can spin this news negatively. I think a lot of people are, I think pretty much every Seahawks fan is going to be pretty happy about this. Just came across the wire officially about maybe an hour ago. The Seattle Seahawks have decided to part ways with two players, Tedrick Thompson and Ed Dixon. Cutting them, I think, in the last year of their contracts. Uh, we save more than $5 million against the cap with these two cuts, I think, is what I read. So, yeah. And I don't think there's any way any Seahawks fan can be upset about this unless you're, you're, you're thinking about things in the big picture, which I, I get it. But both guys were just not helping us win games. And in the case of Tedrick, he, he was helping us lose games. Tedrick was part of the problem in our secondary this year, or now last year, and uh, Dixon, he, ju he just couldn't get on the field. So, uh, once again, tight end Ed Dixon and safety Tedrick Thompson both gone. Uh, I'm not celebrating or anything like that, of course, because, you know, ultimately these are just two guys who we brought in and they weren't able to really help us win games. So... There's nothing really to celebrate about that, especially when you think about things in the big picture and you you start thinking about, man, we could have had George Kittle with the Tedrick Thompson pick. We could have spent those free agency dollars we spent on Ed Dixon, on a pass rusher of some sort. Maybe we could have gotten Bruce Urban last year or the year before if we didn't sign Dixon, you know. But if you're being straight honest, both guys were not worth the money they were going to be making in 2020. Tedrick Thompson just... It seems like he doesn't have great control of his body. It seems like he doesn't, he just doesn't know how to get himself in position to make plays on the ball. And he makes too many mistakes. And, and Ed Dixon, he, he can't stay healthy. And we have too many tight ends on this roster. So uh, save some money. Hopefully we can put it towards another pass rusher because there are still a few floating out there. Uh, there are still some opportunities for us to go get some good players. But time is running out. And, uh, yeah, that, that's what I got today. Uh, what do you guys think about these cuts? There's really not too much to say. The only thing that discourages me a little bit is that if we were going to cut Justin Britt or KJ Wright, it was probably going to happen with these two cuts, and we didn't cut either guy. So I'm fine with KJ Wright, obviously, but Justin Britt was a guy I really thought we were going to say goodbye to after... Um, after last season and doesn't look like it's going to happen, but, uh, people are going to have different opinions on that. I, uh, uh, so be it, I guess. And, uh, oh yeah. So if you look behind me here, I'll turn the camera around. Uh, I got digital devil saga going and I want people to hold that thought. I want you to remember that game. I have another video coming later today. I'm really excited for it. So, um, this is what's cooking on the PS2 right now, Digital Devil Saga. Any of you nerds out there, you might have heard of this game. You might have even played this game. Um, I'll, I'll come back to this later. All right, peace. Go Hawks.